What is that? Through the clearing? What? <laughs> that's that's really just how long is this I don't know, I've never seen this. Um okay, well, I don't know. <gasps> what? No! <laughs> that's horrible! I mean, we've got dinner now. Yes, it was horrible. One of the only two chickens found in this jungle is dead. I chased the chicken murderer away so that Josh had a safe passage to the edge of the cliff. But I couldn't stop thinking about the look on that chicken's face when I found it. A sanctuary of safety he must have seen in our eyes. And now he's in the sanctuary of the clouds. Josh escorted the chicken down, not that he could take damage, but regardless, this chicken is the most important thing on our property right now. We safely guided this chicken back home and I started constructing a pen out of what materials we had left. And even on the saddest of nights, the jungle showed us no mercy. I was forced to suppress my feelings of remorse and attack this Greg wannabe. Of course I had won the fight, but at what cost? After all, I was at fault for this chicken's life being taken. <gasps> He was taken too young. But this isn't gonna happen to, uh, uh, chicken too. This chicken will live on forever. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. We will protect this chicken at all co- Josh, get the axe. Like you said previously, we just don't have enough food to keep going. For the two or four of us now, you know, with parrot, what, cat, and, and chicken. Yes, Josh held me back. I didn't end up killing the chicken last night because we need him. And I was showing Josh the incident from the night before. Oh yeah, this was, um, that was an incident. That seems quite unsafe. It's, it's like towards <laughs> the chicken. There was a, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Josh and I found ourselves in a lengthy conversation about what to do in terms of food. With only one chicken, we can only get eggs. And with no other wildlife around, Josh suggested we work on his farm. I was, I was, hmm, my supple fruits and vegetables. I need it to, it needs, needs to flourish. And in this, in this brutal heat, is that I interest you in a, in a, in a slice of fresh? Uh, yes, please. All right, let's, um, let's figure out a way to get some, uh, that's that's the guy. Well, I mean, would you like to make bucket out of these these three these three ingots? Well, what, what you do, you get your dirt or or clay. Okay. Right, yeah. So let's say you have you have some clay, right? Yeah. You put that in the in the chamber. Make sure it's sealed to the ground yep. in a nice dome shape. And on top, you melt your your metal. And then that's how you can create a bucket. Where did you learn these? I, I don't know, I'm sort of making that up. I <laughs> Even though Josh was making this up, it seemed like it would work. So we set our dirt mold in the forge and put the iron on top. And we'll come back tomorrow to see if it worked. In the meantime, however, Josh and I were going to survey the land around the farm. Neither of us knew too much about farming, but it was something we were going to learn together. We headed across to the farm. So you what, if we have a nice We can use some of this clay here. that I've, Yeah, we can... We can and then a, that'll... Slow down. The gears in our brains were turning, much harder than they have ever turned before. Together we brainstormed different ways to nourish the crops with water. I, in particular, thought so hard that a little bit of pee came out, and it watered the soil beneath me. Eureka. Um, huh. Uh, I just woke up with this in my hand. What? A rabbit's foot? Is it maybe a rabbit? Is that your cat? Was your cat chewing that in my bed? <gasps> the cat was chewing it on his bed. But anywho, we had a big day ahead of us. We were planning to stake out the fence around the farm and increase its size, as well as dig the channel for the water. You know, they always say a day on the farm will do you good, but do I really, do I look good? Where's that bucket I made? Um, I don't know. Oh, awesome! Look at that. it's even got a little handle on it. Yeah, I was amazing. I was... That's a really good mold. It's my first time. All right, I think it should be good to go. Three full days of manual labor, and it all comes down to this. Josh grabbed our bucket, filled it up with water, and headed up to the pond. Is the water? Look at this. Well, all we have to do is, is break break the dam and and let it out. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Let the water let the water run. 
It was beautiful watching this liquid life flow down and nourish our fields, irrigating them with sustaining water. We needn't have to worry about dry, coarse dirt anymore, popping out the tomato seeds. Instead, they will flourish and present us with a bountiful harvest, one sure to keep us and the animals going for many generations. We've come a long way from... <coughs> We've come a long way from homegrown chilies on coarse dirt and three-week-old moldy bread from villages, and we're excited to see where we will go. Josh, this looks amazing. Oh. Right? Already, you can see the ground is taking the water. No, no, parrot, no. All right, there we go. We've got two eggs to spare. Um, Josh, I think we should cook this chicken too. It's probably... <laughs> Here, I'll oh. chuck it on the fire. That's a very small piece of chicken, but... Is there an egg to go with that? Yes, there was an egg to go with that, but I don't think Josh should eat it. He's eaten 10 eggs in the past three hours. Oh. Oh. So instead, I toss him the freshly cooked chicken and I'll eat the egg. Today was a good day. Today, we did something. So we took the time to enjoy our meals. Cheers. A whole chicken. That's nice. That just about filled me up, actually. I wasn't, I wasn't overly hungry, which is nice. Oh. Nice bit of fog running through. Great, this is a nice. It's got yeah. Let's see. And we've got room for expansion if we need to. But this is definitely a step in the right direction for uh, the old Mitch and Josh. Uh, co. 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 You're really turning this into a, Wow.